Hi, my name is Liu Shangwuchen. In this summer, I'm doing research with my mentor Charles and Isan under the CUNY Pharma Undergrad Research Program. Our focus is to create a simple dynamic model to monitor the nitrogen activities. I will begin with introduction, method, results, conclusion, and reference. Introduction This water pollution in Florida is caused by the overwhelming nitrogen that comes from fertilizer runoff, agricultural operation, and more. The overwhelming nitrogen can increase more toxic algae, which will decrease the accessible dissolved oxygen to the fish. Therefore, our goal is to see how human activity influences the environment. This research is based on a research paper called Pre-Industrial and Contemporary Flux of Nitrogen Through Viewers, a global assessment based on the logic. This image is taken from there and it shows the overview of nitrogen transportation among atmosphere, land, and ocean. Three atmosphere nitrogen inputs, labeled next to one, will be absorbed by the land. Nature land, cloud land, and animal waste will return to an return the nitrogen losses to the atmosphere and form the nitrogen deposition. Each land will transfer part of the nitrogen to the river system and eventually flow to the oceans. There's a horizontal nitrogen transportation, which is the animal eat club and grass, and the human will harvest the club and the animal. Some of the nitrogen in animal waste will either go to the soil and atmosphere as loss. The human waste can uh, identify as two types. One is the point source that will go through sewage treatment then to the ocean and another is the non-point source that go directly to the land. Method This software is called Stellar Architect. You can create a model and get a visual understanding of what is going on in each area. Therefore, we will use it to understand our research by beginning with creating a simple dynamic model, simulating it, and obtaining the result. This model will be linked to other models like watershed model and thermal pollution model. They will all contribute to the analysis of climate, food, energy, and water security. This equation is from the paper, and we will use it to calculate the nitrogen transportation from lands to the Mount River. Two source, one is point source like urban human waste, and non-point source either organic or inorganic. For organic source, include fixation, livestock waste, and human waste. For inorganic source, include deposition and fertilizer. Different from point source, non-point source will be affected by the runoff and delivery coefficient of soil organic or inorganic. Low runoff will decrease the nitrogen flux to the river. Before reaching to the amount of river, nitrogen from lands has to go through different channels like soil and groundwater, river, reservoir, and lake. This is determined by the delivery coefficients. Their equations are at the bottom, and they are dependent on the condition of the river system, such as hydraulic resident time, how long will nitrogen stay at each system, basin temperature, and to enable parameters to minimize the error of the model. And the values are given from the paper. Higher temperature and longer resident time will also decrease the nitrogen flux. System from my mentor Isan and suggestion from my mentor Charles, I able to create this initial model. This model is designed based on the early picture showing except the animal only eat grasses and the destination is the mouth of the river. I'm using some data from the paper and also make assumptions from them if they're not available. Now we will see how the model works. This is nitrogen transportation from atmosphere to land. As we can see, there's three big box. They are post-stock in Stella and they stand for atmosphere nitrogen input. And small stock are the land. And we also have a pine Line structure connected to the stock. This is called flow, which determines how much nitrogen in the in one area to another area. And we also have a small circle. This is called com converter, which further determines the rate to input rate and the output rate. And we also connect it from the land to the river, as you can see from the directions to the river. 
This is the model I'm going to stand there for 12 months. Now we will see what happens. We can see the nitrogen inside the lens is increasing. Actually, it's going to be increasing to the nitrogen flux at the bottom. Result we run a sensitive test with increasing the population and see how the nitrogen flow at the Mount River change. As we can see that most of the motel nitrogen in that area increase as the population increase. This might happen because more people consume the crops and animals and they generate more waste. Those waste will be either go to the river after being treated or go to the soil then to the river. More fertilizer I expect to use for growing the crops. This will lead to an increase in nitrogen level in the cropland and the nitrogen flux from the cropland to the river. Although the initial population run one seems to be tricky, which is higher than the final population run five, between seven months and nine months, they refer to mistake having the model which required to be improved. Conclusion we created a simple model for most stakeholders like policy makers to able to understand the current environment pollution by two activities. We use data to help us to monitor nitrogen transportation from atmosphere to lands and from lands to ocean. We obtain a result that shows an increase in nitrogen level in the amount of river as population increased over 12 months. We still need to improve our initial model by adding more features and real data this model will be linked to other models to investigate the climate, food, energy, and water security. Reference Thank you for listening to my presentation.